The Cutie Mark Crusaders can come off as a love them or hate them response from the audience, and it sometimes grows on you depending on what side you choose. At first, I thought they would come off as annoying during the first season, especially with the shedding of their name in the Stairmaster. But as the series progresses on, they do learn and mature better, but are still frustrated getting their mark in society and remain outcast by everypony else. While formulas involving one different and mistreated are overdone, it's something I'm personally never tired of. So deep down inside, we all have this dilemma, and the CMC has this issue in the worst luck possible. In this episode, One Bad Apple, Applebloom's cousin Babseed moves into Ponyville from Manhattan to stay with the Apple family for a few weeks. Much like the Cutie Mark Crusaders, Babs also doesn't have a Cutie Mark, but as she's introduced to them in their clubhouse, Babs gets pressured by Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon, and thus siding with them instead. In doing so, Babs trashes the CMC throughout most of the episode, to the point where the CMC decide to plan a large prank on Babs. Little do they know was the overall reason behind why Babs was sent here in the first place. Well, I didn't say nothing because I didn't want her to feel singled out. But there's been some bullies back in Manhattan just been teasing her to pieces for her blank blank. Teased? Bullies? Yep. She came out to the farm to get away from all her problems back home. I'm so proud of y'all. You done a good deed. So that's why she jumped in when Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon started giving us a hard time. She didn't want to be bully like at home, so she decided to be a bully instead. And now we've turned into bullies too! This episode isn't just about bullying, but the influence of bullying. Bullying has been constantly advertised in front of kids a lot, but this one actually does a much better job. The way the moral is displayed in this one is very universal and not so much as a bullying is bad scenario. Bullying happens due to many reasons, but specifically they wanted to take their problems out on others. What Babs was dealing with felt like a one-way option for her, since she didn't want to be bullied again. It's very reasonable on her shoulders. It wasn't her complete intentions to be mean and boastful. She was just scared and was hiding from it. Scenarios like this aren't explained very often. For how I feel about Babs alone, I like this character. There's not much of her scene, but I can feel a lot from her. I'm not sure if they'll make a return for her later in the series, but I hope they do, since now she can start her mark on the CMC Club in Manhattan. It's a good way to spread out word and handle these problems. Additionally, we have a song about Bab Seeds, which is called, well, Bab Seeds. While everyone else loved the song, I thought it was enjoyable but not as much as everyone else. This song sounded way too mainstream for me. Pop rock or punk music is always something that I find too formulaic or just something too simple or no variation to the point where I just forget about it. This song did have some good variation in its music, but the style of the genre just doesn't pique my interest as well. I'm a person who loves and indulges rock and metal, especially the names of musical groups of classic rock. Now, I'm not saying that Bab Seeds is anything in what I just said. It's actually a very well-composed song. To its credibility, Daniel Ingram tries to do many different styles in his musical numbers. Some are Broadway orchestrated, some are blended with other genres, and some are just songs of their very own. And admittedly, the animation is utterly fantastic as we see the adorable postures of the Cutie Mark Crusaders in different environments, as well as the chorus sequence. Already, there's a milkshake meme. Let's just hope there's no There Will Be Blood reference involved. The only issue I had with this episode is that it seemed a little too one-sided. We see a lot happening with the CMC, but with so little time with Babs and when she hides her flank, it seemed like this episode was just fair in the CMC. Granted, it was just an attempt to build up to the character Babs, and it surprised us with her problems. But her just being a jerk throughout the episode seemed a bit like a surprise twist was placed at the last minute. It still took me and perhaps many others by surprise, but this episode could have been a little more balanced. The other thing to address is Babs' accent. Like the cutie mark cry babies. Well, it was yours, and now it's mine. Looks like some pony's pumpkin just got squashed. Hey, that's not how you talk to my friends. It's nice to consider the fact that other ponies can resemble different environmental and locational personalities, but her Eastern Mafia ish accent seems to be all over the top fake, that it felt like it was too stereotyping. It also didn't help the character's personal feelings since it made her sound mean, as she in the episode was, well, mean. Again, the episode was just too one-sided. While it is written by Cindy Morrow, who's my favorite writer of the show for Sister of Social and Hurricane Fluttershy, this isn't her strongest. 
But out of the season so far, it's one of the few episodes I enjoyed overall. It still tackles the message very well, and while there are some hiccups here and there, the story is pretty solid. Both this and Ponyville Confidential have been my favorite episodes that have centered on the Cuny Mark Crusaders, and it shows more development for each other. There's still more episodes to run down the line, and I hope they still live up to the good potential. So until next time, this is Golden Fox. Take care. <laughs>